hello guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new if you're new here my name is sam i am a licensed hairdresser and i have been feeling like i don't know kind of in a little bit of a funk and it just feels like it's time for me to refresh my hair color and my brow tints and i might do my lashes later too because i mean they don't look terrible up close but from a distance my eyes are just looking a little like sad and sleepy so i figured if i'm gonna be doing like some beauty maintenance stuff why not record the process so let me grab all of the supplies that i need first so i keep this drawer with all of my hair supplies so we are going to need the hair color and for my brows i use two different colors so have that i also am going to need gloves because it's dark hair color and i don't want to stain my hands i also need a bowl to mix everything in i need a color brush developer and a whisk I'm also going to grab my food scale to measure everything with. Before we get into everything, this video is sponsored by Dossier. So quick little shout out to them. If you've never heard of Dossier before, they are a perfume company that makes replicas of well-known brand name fragrances for a fraction of the price. They cut out the celebrity marketing, retailer markups, the expensive over-the-top packaging all of the things that make the brand name perfumes so much more expensive so you're getting the exact same fragrance same high quality but in simpler more sleek packaging for in some cases 70 to 90 percent less they have perfumes colognes unisex fragrances in addition to that they now also have candles and reed diffusers and obviously dossier is great to get for yourself but it also makes a really good gift i frequently give out dossier as gifts to friends and family and it's a hit every single time actually last year for my salon's holiday party we did a white elephant gift exchange and i brought a dossier perfume and i literally had my co-workers fighting over who was gonna get it just saying if you guys have been watching me already for a while you know ambery saffron has been my go-to signature fragrance for like over two years now but i recently kind of switched over i mean i still love the other one but i have recently been wearing the powdery hawthorn from dossier and this just smells so good and it's so unique i don't even know how to describe it it's like cozy and it has like a powdery scent but in a good way like it's just something about it is so like sexy and inviting but clean and fresh and it's so powerful and lasts all day like throughout the day while i'm at work i'll catch whiffs of this and i'm like mm, it smells so good and then i'm like oh that's right it's me so if you want to try them out for yourself i will have a link and discount code in my description please go check them out and thank you so much dossier for sponsoring this video and continuing to work with me and thank you to you guys for giving me the opportunity to work with sponsors it really helps me out a lot but okay let's just get into the video like i said i'm going to be touching up my roots so my natural color is pretty similar to the color of my hair right now it's just very very ashy and you probably can't tell now because we're indoors but in certain lighting especially if i'm outside you can kind of tell that the roots are a little bit ashier so i like to use permanent color on my roots a few times a year just to darken them up and richen it up make everything a little bit warmer so that way it blends with the rest of my hair especially because as it starts to grow out a lot it becomes a lot more noticeable and I'm going away on vacation soon so like I just want fresh hair like I said I've been feeling kind of blah and in a funk I'll share more about that in a minute but yeah I just feel like doing my hair will make me feel a little bit better and by the way excuse if I sound like kind of nasally and congested it's absolutely pouring rain today and I feel like anytime it rains my allergies just get really bad so I'm feeling a little stuffed up um so sorry about that um and then i'm also since i'm going to be doing my roots i'm going to tint my brows as well because my eyebrows it's the same thing the hair is just very ashy um and they just don't look as full and as thick so i like to tint them like once a month or so so that way they look nice and filled in 
and I don't have to, you know, spend as much time like filling them in with makeup and stuff. Anything to just be more low maintenance is what I'm about these days. So I'm just placing my bowl on the food scale. I'm gonna turn that on, make sure it's zeroed out, and then I'm gonna weigh my color zero it out again and then I'm going to add the developer just so that way I know that I'm getting the correct mixing ratio. And the color that I use on my roots is Wella Caleston Perfect 4 stroke 7 1. It's just a nice chocolatey dark brown which is exactly what I love. And I don't have a full tube of this but when I do my roots I don't do my entire head because you really can't tell. I feel like the only time you really can see my roots and you can tell a difference is like the front and the top or like if I wear my hair pulled back like around my hairline and with this color you want to do an even ratio of color to developer so the same amount of color that I add I'm going to put the exact same amount of developer so there's my color there I'm going to mix it up with my whisk and I don't know if I mentioned, but I'm using 10 volume developer with this color because I don't have any grays. Thank God. Knock on wood. Because I am 31 and I still have yet to get any grays. God bless. I, I know I know they're coming, but anyway, I don't need to cover any grays and I just want to deposit color. I don't I'm not trying to go lighter, so. 10 volume is perfect to just deposit. And like I said, I'm just gonna be applying this to the top and the front because I only ever wear my hair either down or pulled up. I never do like half up, half down kind of things. So it's really just wherever you would see my roots. And then I'm gonna take my color and just Paint it on. I love this color so much. Like I said, it's just the most perfect dark chocolatey brown and it's not too dark and it's also not too warm or too ashy. It's the perfect like neutral but rich undertone. So I start in the middle and then I just work my way doing thin partings. And I use the tail of the brush to part my hair to make it easier. That way you can get a nice clean part. And I'm just dragging it down a few inches. The last time I did my roots was back in like beginning of June, end of May, sometime around there. And I don't like to overlap permanent color because it's just not really necessary. And then if I ever decide that I want to like add highlights or something to my hair, it'll just make it more difficult because I'll just have like layers and layers of color built up. So I just do the roots and then the rest of my hair I'll do a gloss which is like a demi permanent color like a toner basically that's just a lot gentler on the hair and that I'll do more frequently like the gloss I'd say I do like probably every other month or so or just whenever I feel like I need it like if my hair is starting to look a little bit too like warm on the ends or anything and I just need to darken it up a little bit more, then I'll do the gloss. But I'm not gonna be doing that today because I don't have any more left. And like, I wasn't planning on doing my hair today. This was kind of like an impromptu decision. And also, it gets kind of messy. So lately I've just been doing it at the salon where I work because I was starting to kind of stain my bathtub. So I was like, mm, I have access to the salon and I can just do it there. I may as well just do that so I don't totally ruin my bathroom. But the ends look pretty good, so I'm not really worried about that right now anyway. It just had been a while since I've done the roots, so I felt like it was time. And then for the back, you can see maybe 
I have my first row of hair extensions right there. So I am only going to go down to that row of extensions because anything else underneath there, no one is ever going to be able to see. Obviously, if my natural root color was like a lot lighter than this color, then I would do my whole head. But because it's like basically the same, it's just ashy, just a different tone. It's really not as big of a deal. Okay, so now that I did all of the top, the front, the perimeter in the front, I'm going to pull my hair up like this. And then I'm just going to paint around the hairline in the back. If you really want to, you can like set up a mirror behind you so you can see what you're doing or just ask someone to help you. I just kind of go based off of feeling and I know that I'm going to stain my skin underneath here, but I'm just going to wear my hair down the next few days and eventually anything that's on my skin will fade. And then don't forget like back here behind your ears. So yeah, like I mentioned before, I've been in a bit of a funk. I was sick last week. And then even after I started to feel better, I was just afraid to like, you know, overdo it and do anything too strenuous. So I haven't been going to the gym to lift. So I just feel kind of crappy because of that. And then it was also my time of the month. So, it just felt like there was so much, like I was sick. I also wasn't working out. And then I also had my period. So I just have been feeling like really blah and just not myself. Now that I'm feeling better, my period is done. I'm excited to like, you know, refresh my hair and everything and just feel better. Um, okay, so. I left a little bit of that hair color in the bowl and I'm going to add a little bit of a lighter, warmer color. This is seven stroke seven three, which is a brown gold. So we have the dark chocolatey brown and now I have a lighter, warm, brown so if you mix the two together it'll give us a nice medium brown that'll be nice and rich so same thing i'm gonna add 10 volume developer mix that together and this is going to be my eyebrow color so i used to use henna for years and i like that but it's kind of hard to remove because it like dries down to like this hard shell. So for the past like year or so, I've just been doing permanent hair color and it works great. And it's just so much easier and faster. And then like with the henna, you can't get it wet for like at least 24 hours afterwards. This, it doesn't matter. You can get it wet immediately. So it's just easier. So I take this eyebrow brush and I just paint the color on and I just make sure that I'm going back and forth and I'm fully coating the hairs from every angle. And then once I do that, I take a Q-tip and I clean up because it's easier to just prevent the stain in the first place than to try to like scrub at it and remove the stain after. And the reason why I added in that lighter, warmer color, I've just been liking a little bit of a softer brow. It's not gonna be like, significantly lighter at all than my hair but just like the tiniest bit lighter and a little bit warmer sometimes i feel like when you have really dark brows if they're like too dark it can look harsh so this is going to process for 40 minutes and then when it's done i'm going to wipe off the brows hop in the shower wash my hair and i'm also going to do a conditioning treatment when i'm in the shower but i will show that to you when I'm ready for that. So I'll see you in 40 minutes. Okay, timer just went off. So I'm gonna wipe off this color and then I'm gonna like actually 
wash my face in the shower, but just so no color like drips down into my eyes, you know? And then when I get in the shower, I have recently, well, these are like halfway empty. So it's been a couple of months now. I've been using the Amica Norm Core shampoo and conditioner. And I love this stuff. It just makes my hair feel so like nice and silky. So that's the shampoo that I'm gonna use. And then like I said, I wanna do a conditioning treatment. So this is my favorite one. I have been using this for years and I, I just swear by it. It is my absolute go-to. If you are just looking for something that is going to hydrate your hair, like if your hair is feeling dry and it needs a little something extra, the Joyco K-Pack Hydrator. So I'm gonna shampoo my hair two times, make sure I get all the color out, and then I'm gonna apply this from like mm, bottom of my ears down, and you have to leave it on for three to five minutes. So I'm gonna do that first, and then just do the rest of my shower, and then rinse it out at the end. All the towels I have are white, so I just have this one black one that is specifically for any time I color my hair. But I thought I would share the rest of my beauty routine and what I normally do when I get out of the shower and products I've been using and all that. So the first thing I do is apply this PFB. This is a chemical exfoliator that you roll on. I use it a few times a week on my bikini area because it helps with ingrown hairs and that is where I tend to get them. It just kind of like eats away at the top layer of dead skin. It's not like painful or anything like that. And then I'll manually exfoliate in the shower and it just removes that top layer of skin so that any hairs that might be like growing into the skin will just like pop right out. And then the next step is I take this Palmer's Cocoa Butter and I lather this all over my body. Now I'm just brushing out my hair. I'm using the Framar detangling brush. It looks gross, there's a lot of hair in it, but this is, it's kind of like the wet brush. It's really gentle. It has very flexible bristles. So it's not gonna like rip through my hair. So it's safe to use on my extensions and all that good stuff. I start from the bottom, work my way up. So for hair products, and I don't think I've shared this routine with you guys yet, but now that I not only have these extra hair extensions in, but I also have a keratin treatment, it allows my hair to air dry so beautifully, and that's all I've been doing. Like I can't even tell you the last time I blew my hair out. I've just been letting it air dry and it's been amazing. Like I said earlier, anything to make my routine and life more low maintenance. So first I spray this Fanola um, Nourishing, what is this, Nutra One 10 Action Spray. It's basically their version of It's a 10. So I spray this all over and I kind of concentrate it underneath here because that is where my hair is the driest and it tends to get tangled. And then I take Olaplex number six leave-in cream. Like a pump and a half of that. And this I just kind of focus on the ends. And then whatever is left, I just like gradually work my way up. But that way I'm concentrating most of the product on the ends. And then lastly, the Fanola Reconstructing Fluid Crystals. This is a hair serum. I take kind of a lot of this. Because it just like smooths everything down and it makes it shiny and silky but it doesn't weigh my hair down the way an oil can. 
So I don't really worry about like using too much. And again, I concentrate it on like the mids and ends. And then I just took like one more pump and I'm just running that over the top and these front pieces. And yeah, from there, I just leave it and I let it air dry. So I'll show you what it looks like obviously later on when it is dry, but here is a close up of my brows. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of moisturizer on. This is the Ola Henriksen Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. This makes my skin feel so good. So this is what I've been using lately as my like daytime moisturizer and while we're at it even though i'm not going anywhere i'm just gonna put on a little perfume mm. now that i'm looking at my brows i feel like they could definitely use a little bit of a trim so i have these little eyebrow scissors you can get them at the drugstore or i'll put a link in the description i'm just gonna kind of Skim over the top and just trim them like that. Quick and easy cleanup. Can you hear the rain and the wind? While I'm at it with everything, I may as well just do my lashes. I know I want to do them at some point in the next few days anyway before my trip, so may as well do it today so this is the kit that i use i got it on amazon and lately i have been doing the smallest size rods that way i'm able to get like as close to the base of my lashes as possible and it gives me the most lift and then for the solution this i also got on amazon this is the stars colors firming solution so it's individual packets which is really nice. So each packet is a separate application. You have step one and step two. And then this is my tinting stuff. I got all of this from Elibana. So it's just a black eyelash tint and the developer. So I'm gonna do the lift first, then the tint. It's kind of a tedious process. So I think I'm just gonna set you down and do a time lapse, but I do have a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I do this. And I like break it down in depth. So I will link that in the description. But let me show you my lashes before. It's a little while later. My hair is still technically kind of wet in through here. Now that I have so much of it, it takes a while before it like fully dries, but it's already six o'clock. I'm gonna lose daylight pretty soon here. So I wanted to be able to show you everything, like the color. It just looks like so much richer and a little bit darker like in through here oh i love it and you can kind of see even though it's like so a little bit wet but you can kind of get an idea of how the hair is air drying and here's again the brows but in natural lighting and then my lashes which i can't get them wet for 24 hours so they might look a little bit wonky because my lids are a little bit stained and there might be like a little bit of glue residue in some spots i feel like they really look their best once i can like fully wash my face and you know i can clean up 
all of the residue but you can see they're just like lifted up a lot more they're darker and you can just see them better like it just looks like i have on mascara so that's gonna be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed seeing like my little beauty routine how i touch up my hair and all of that don't forget to check the description for my link and discount code to dossier and I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye.